I realized from some of the comments in last week's video that some of you are new to this channel and to my FRC reviews. So let's clear some things up. I only recap the events that give you a ticket to Worlds, those being regionals and district championships. I have nothing against regular district events. It's not like anything isn't review worthy at those. 461 winning their first event in their 24 year existence? Come on, of course that's review worthy. Believe you me, I want to talk about things like this red card at North Carolina, or OP Robotics being OP, or how Jack and the Bot might just be a champion in 2023. But there's just not enough time. Adding up all the district championship events and regionals this year, I'll be covering about 71 different events. Adding regular district events to that count, that would be 180 events, and these videos would just not get done. So thank you for understanding, and with that out the way, on to these regionals. This is where the review for the Southern Cross Regional would go if first had it uploaded. As far as I could tell, the stream got taken down. I have found no clips of matches online, so that sucks, I guess. If it miraculously pops up by next week, I'll just add it to the end of my week 3 reviews. But until then, uh, this is how the match shook up to be. Really close one. Uh, and congrats to the Barker Redbacks, the Robo Rebels, and Pimble Pride. The two seed of Wild Stang, Maguanago Bears, and Avi and Friends took on the four seed of Sty Pulse, Cash Money, and Titan Robotics. Both alliances matched up in match 11, with the two seed coming away with that win, and they look to do the same in the finals. Wild Stang got a three piece auto, but Blue still came out with the early edge. 2022 wasted no time to defend red, while Sty Pulse put up pieces for blue. 7460 played defense on blue, while Maguanago Bears and Wild Stang put links together to take the lead. Both sides wobbled and bobbled in endgame, but got all their bots balanced. A very close match, but the number two alliance came out victorious. The one seed of Beast Robotics, Argos, and Robo Bills went up against the two seed of Ratchet Rockers, Mars Wars, and Fire Island Robotics. Argos and Ratchet Rockers won the St. Louis Regional together last year, with Mars Wars on the opposing end. So all these teams are well acquainted with each other, especially since they met up at match 11, which seems to be the most crucial match in the double elimination format. Blue escaped with a 10 point win in the first finals match, but the two seeds still had more fight in them. Coming out of auto tied at 33, both sides fought neck and neck. 1706 hit the spin moves to avoid Blue's blocking, while 6420 played defense, slowing Blue's scoring as Red's score increased. Red got all their bots up for the commanding 30 point win to force a tiebreaker. Red got the early edge in match 3's auto, with both sides putting links up early. Blue tightened up their defense, but 1706 was just too fast for them. Red had the faster cycle times, and Blue couldn't keep up. 5176 bottomed out on the ramp, which left Blue with a 2 on 3 in a match that already ran away from them. Red broke the 100 mark as Endgame started, and got the triple balance as Blue wobbled and bobbled, and just barely got the triple balance. A clean match, but the two seed came out on top in the end. This is what I'm talking about with the sudden death double elimination bracket stirring the pot. The one seed of Saber Robotics, who won Northern Lights in week one, with CIS and the Huskies, 
faced the seven seed of Gators, Blackjacks, and Fred, who worked their way out of the lower bracket. The one seed needed a win in match two to stay alive. And with 6045's two cube auto, it looked like that would happen. Saber and CIS put links together with Blue responding to get them back into the game. The Huskies had connection trouble and stalled out, which does not bode well with how close this game is. Red got the two remaining bots up, with Blue wobbling and bobbling and getting the triple balance with the clock ticking down to zero. A crazy close match, but the Blue Seven Seed Alliance got the three-point victory and the win. The one seed of Upper Creek Robotics, Stealth Panthers, and Steel Mustangs, who subbed in for Screech, took on the four seed of Robo Hornets, Cockadoodle Dominators, and Roboback. The four seed made their way out of the lower bracket after 39-31 ended up in a chokehold by 27-18 who then finished with the slam, which was a red card, but the number four alliance still got a yellow card from it. The one seed won all their playoff matches convincingly and just needed one more win to advance to Worlds. Up a Creek fumbled a cube in their auto, but Blue's drops gave Red the early 30 to six lead. 1619's dexterity and speed let them put up cubes quickly, while 2945 played defense. 3931 got floor cubes for blue, while 1209 tried to slow red up. A 43 point lead for red headed into endgame, with blue breaking out the triple balance while red opted for two. You live and die at the grid and the number one seed came away with the incredible 59 point win. This regional is for the fours. The two seed of the Hawaiian kids who we saw win Canada Pacific teamed up with the Octobots and the Wolverines to go against the number one alliance of 44-14, 44-81, and four, who all played last week in the Wainimi Port Regional because the Ventura County Regional is at the same venue as the Wainimi Port Regional. Both Alliance captains had a case of the drop season auto, with Hawaiian Kids and High Tide second cones both finding the floor, but Blue got the early lead. All these bots sprung to life with Element sending it over the ramp to start defending Blue. High Tide seemed to boss around the Wolverines in their pursuit of putting links together. And they say this isn't battle bots. Element played defense on the game elements, keeping them out of reach for Blue. The lead stretched for Red as Blue kept pace heading into endgame. 30 seconds left as Rembrandt parked it and the other two red bots balanced. The blue bots got two balanced with the Hawaiian kids getting their handstand for the triple. A valiant effort and a very close match, but the one seed wins it. The one seed of Madtown Robotics, Graybots, and Arborbotics faced off against the three seed of Highlander Robotics, Buchanan Birdbrains, and breaker bots. Red had the one game advantage and wanted to end things here. Madtown had a buzzer beating cone for a three piece auto that also created a link. They can make a link in autonomous. Gray bots and bird brains balanced for their sides and Red took the early 48 to 31 lead. In autonomous, there have been final Scores lower than this. Madtown and Greybots effortlessly put up links for Red, while Highlander and Birdbrains tried to keep up. 5104 tried to defend, 
but 1323 hit the spin move out of blocks. Red kept scoring well into endgame, with their 6th and 7th links getting placed. Blue got the triple balance, while Red got a double balance, and the event high score for the win. An epic showdown to close out the weekend. The four seed of Code Orange, Charging Champions, and Golden Griffins faced the three seed of the High Rollers, Epic Robots, and Surf City Vikings. The three seed got the first win, but the four seed wanted a tiebreaker. High Rollers got a two-piece auto, but their balance couldn't quite balance. Code Orange didn't move, but they sprung to life to pick up some cones. 6560 got a link for blue, while 987 got one for red. 6220's defense slowed red down, while Code Orange hit the spin moves as blue took the lead. 4276 almost lost it on this collision, but got their wheels down as the clock ticked into endgame. Both sides wobbled and bobbled and got the triple balance. It really looked like this one could have gone either way, but 30 points of penalty helped force a third match. This time, Code Orange came to life in auto, but fumbled both their cones. Meanwhile, High Roller's two-piece and balance gave Red the seven-point advantage. 987 completed a link and then hit the two-wheel motion, but saved it. Both sides got links together, with neither one seeming to slow the other up. 4415 placed a cone for Red's fourth link before joining their partners at the charging station. Both sides wobbled and bobbled, but they once again got the triple balances. Another insanely close match, but the three-seated alliance came out on top. Thank you for watching. Sorry I couldn't cover the Australian regional. Sometimes this kind of thing happens, technical difficulties and all. Week two had eight regionals. Week three will have 12. And the numbers will not go lower after that. So make sure you tune back in for my week three recap. You can make sure you don't miss out by liking this video and subscribing to this channel. I will see you next week. Until then, I hope you have fun, stay safe, and remember, gracious in victory, professional in defeat. Amen. 44-15, that's epic robots from Cerritos. That was a very interesting move right there. We'll see how the refs decide about that one.